dairy farm management and the feed cost consideration in China. So we from China, uh, Jinan Agriculture University, actually uh, the agriculture located at the north part of China. So here is our university. So as we know, uh, milk production is a global industry. Uh, recent several years, so still milk production kept increasing, uh, except Russia, a little bit decrease, but uh, the global production still keep going. So in China, the milk consumption per, uh, per person is quite lower. So no more than uh, 50 kilo uh, per person per year. So that's pretty lower uh, compared with the developing countries and the global average. So that means a big potential market in China. So as we know, uh, since uh, April last year, the milk quota uh, regime come to an end in uh, Europe. Uh, also, the on June, uh, USA and the uh, European Union banned extend for more one year for Russia. So after this, so uh, many uh, uh, major region of the milk production uh, uh, selling uh, milk product to China. So they have a big impact for the uh, China market. So here is the price. So since uh, 2014, the milk, pr uh, milk price is uh, uh, keep going down. So uh, until the August of this year, so the global price will be uh, increased. But the China milk price still keep quite stable. Uh, even the price compared with the other countries is still higher. But uh, for the most farms, more than uh, uh, maybe uh, 40 to 50 percent of farms keep it even, or even some farms lose money. Uh, some bigger opposition farms uh, uh, quite good profit. So uh, in China, as we know, the, the modern dairy is uh, only uh, uh, grows quite fast the recent uh, uh, 10 to 15 years. So still have lots of small size and middle size farm. It's quite a low production, low efficiency. Uh, some modern farms, uh, the production is quite higher, maybe more than 10 metric ton uh, 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 per year per cow average, some which more than 12 metric ton. But uh, those kind of farm is quite limited. So the, the totally average, uh, the modern uh, farms is quite higher, but the small and middle sized farm is quite a low efficiency. So that's a lot of a new challenge for the uh, Chinese dairy farming, especially in the tough situation of the global dairy industry. So first of all, it's the limited milk production because so many countries are selling milk product to China and uh, the weakness of the consumer uh, consumption of the domestic uh, market. So that means, you know, more milk production is it's much over than the need of a processing company. So most farms have to limit the milk production uh, by culling cows. Uh, so uh, the second one is uh, improve the milk quality. As you know, since uh, 2008, uh, China farm pay much attention on improve the milk quality. So uh, according to the report of the national report, uh, most of the farm, the milk quality uh, even better than the standard of Europe. So the third one I think is much important is uh, try to reduce the feed cost because so many farms, uh, low production, low efficiency, that's the reason lose money. So how to maintain the uh, profitable uh, milk industry? The first one, at this, this situation, especially since 2014, to 2016, so most cows try, uh, farms try to cutting the low efficiency cows, try to limit the production. So at the same time, you know, manage uh, uh, herd structure management and uh, try to uh, uh, improve the feed efficiency. Second one is to pay much attention on the feed cost control. The third one is the house management. 
actually is a kind of uh, oxidation stress management inside of an animal. So herd structure management is quite simple. So we know the, the desi milk is a, have a big impact for the milk production. So if, if the uh, desi milk is quite short, that means you know quite a, a more cows uh, is in the early lactation cows. That means you know uh, more feed efficiency. So we calculate uh, uh, for the milk price between the four, four and a half to uh, three and a half. If milk, pri uh, milk price decrease 0.1 RMB, that means you have to uh, shorten not breed. Uh, uh, days, that means coming into you have to short at least six to seven days. Uh, so that means you have to uh, improve the reproduction and the increasing uh, cutting rate, manage uh, uh, the herd structure. So feed cost control management. So as we know in China, they have a big range different, uh, especially for the feed cost. Uh, for the cows, it's uh, about uh, 1.8 to 2.8. That's big range different uh, uh, between the different farms. So that means they have a big potential uh, on the decrease the feed cost. So we use a kind of, uh, uh, we choose uh, two kind of uh, feed ingredients that uh, uh, produce more uh, nutrients for the dairy, uh, dairy farms. You know, uh, first one is energy ingredients for corn. The second one is soybean meal for protein. So we are uh, according the price and according the nutrients. So uh, each kilo of the corn can support 2.3 kilo milk of ME and 1.5 uh, kilo milk of MP. So according this, uh, uh, we uh, try to calculate uh, uh, relative lactation value of for the each individual uh, feed ingredients. So we calculate the feed ingredients uh, related uh, lactation value. That means, so on the right now the price, so we uh, produce one kilo of MP, that means 0.72 RMB. For the ME, that's uh, 2.28. Uh, uh, so totally that's one RMB for the, uh, at the base of maintenance, we can produce one kilo of milk. So the surgical feed cost, uh, if the average production can reach uh, 35 kilo, so we calculate the maintenance cost will be 0.57. So for the lactation, that means one RMB per kilo of milk. So totally, uh, the uh, surgical feed cost will be 1.57. So how we, how we do reduce the cost? So the first one is to try to dilute the maintenance, just like Mark mentioned about. Uh, so the second is uh, we try to decrease the lactation cost. So through the select the uh, ingredients, that means cost effect ingredients uh, by the formulation. So, no matter dry cows or the how much of the uh, kilo milk is produced, uh, the maintenance uh, requirement is quite the same. So we can calculate the average milk production if it's quite lower, the maintenance requirement cost will be higher. So that means we have to uh, do our best to try to increase the milk production. Second wise uh, is quite important because you know uh, the biggest uh, you know bottleneck for China dairy industry is the quality of the uh, forage. Uh, because quite limited of the good quality forage in China, so they have to import uh, uh, the good quality alfalfa hay and high quality uh, oat hay from Australia. So the most important hay, also the local, uh, uh, low quality uh, uh, grass dry hay, both of those uh, dry hay is quite uh, you know, the, the CP ratio is quite lower, especially compared with the uh, corn silage. So that means we need to include more corn silage instead of the 
imported uh, high quality dry hay and low quality domestic low quality hay. So that means we have to rebuild the ration, try to build a cost effect ration. Also have some, uh, you know, uh, the short fiber uh, ingredients is quite a higher CP ratio. So that means we increase those kind of short uh, fiber ingredients, uh, try to limit it, uh, the imported hay and uh, the low quality hay. So how to, uh, uh, through the calculation of the uh, surgical feed cost, first one, we need to dilute the maintenance cost by the increasing uh, milk production. The second one is we need to rebuild ration to make a cost effect uh, formulation. So how to increase uh, uh, milk production uh, by, uh, 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 you know, in China dairy cows, especially for the uh, small and the medium size of the uh, farms. So the first one is by increasing the dry matter by the, you know, the bank uh, management. You know, the small size and the middle size farm used to be is a tight stall system, uh, separated the concentrate and the forage separately. So right now use TMR system. Uh, so they have to switch the new kind of uh, management pattern. So uh, avoid the empty uh, bank syndrome. So uh, improving by, uh, push uh, frequently, maybe more than 10 or 20, uh, 12 times uh, per day. Also, they were uh, delivering uh, adequate uh, TMR every day. The second one I think is uh, very important is uh, increasing milk production by uh, reduce uh, ADF uh, of the TMR. Uh, especially in China, most of the small farms use quite uh, low quality forage, uh, such like uh, those kind of you know, sheep grass and uh, some uh, you know the corn store and the uh, restaurant. So could be a big uh, limited factor uh, uh, for the uh, dry matter intake. For refunctional, uh, 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 it's more important than the nutrition. That means, you know, the ruminant have to feed uh, uh, the forage, try to provide, you know, uh, physical effective fiber to keep the house rumen. So that means we have to include in good quality forage or limited low quality forage, try to keep the rumen house. So uh, in China, uh, we uh, tested your know, most corn silage, especially good quality uh, corn silage, ha actually have a better uh, fiber quality compared with the, uh, a certain level of the quality alfalfa hay because you know yeah, uh, the good quality corn silage have a quite a higher uh, high uh, fiber solutes and uh, quite a lower lightning. So that means you know if you increase uh, corn silage, that means you can increase. Uh, the uh, dry matter intake. So right now, more and more uh, Chinese farm try to uh, make a good quality uh, 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 corn silage. Uh, even some farms choose, you know, use more corn silage. Uh, also, some farms use complete corn silage without hay. Uh, still can keep quite good, you know, room and house. Uh, also try to, you know, decrease the uh, uh, cost. The lowest, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, some farms can uh, feed cost uh, will be reach 1.4 uh, uh, RMB per, ki uh, per kilo milk. That's, that's pretty uh, lower, I think. But if we want to include more corn silage, we have to meet you know, a certain standard of corn silage, especially for the uh, particle size. So first one is the uh, dry matter. Uh, uh, how to make you know the at least the thirty percent of the dry matter. Uh, uh, this is related with the harvest time. The second one is uh, is related with harvest time and the stubble height. Try to decrease the ADF. Uh, some uh, good quality corn silage ADF will be will be lower more than twenty five percent. The third one is the particle size is quite critical. If we try to decrease the, uh, the, the dry hay in the ration, 
and increase the quant size, we have to make uh, you know proper uh, uh, the particle size. Especially we use a pen box, try to keep the uh, a certain length uh, uh, of the quant size. So that means we use quant size provide the physical effective fiber. So then we are. Uh, Another is important is improving the Riemann function. Why uh, does cause suffer sorrow? So it's because you know uh, we have a production over absorption by Riemann. Why? It's because of too much starch in the Russian. Also because of maybe quite a faster uh, degradation uh, of the ingredients such as you know wheat, moisture corn, and uh, quite a fine corn. Uh, Another reason is a poor VFA absorption for the transition cows because of quite poor uh, transition management. The second reason uh, is the rumen buffer capacity is too weak. It's because the you know TMR Russian is a uh, uh, quite lack uh, shortage of the effect fiber. It's quite quite fine of the particle size, or quite longer uh, because of the salty of the TMR Russian. Also, we can use uh, you know sodium bicarbonate in the Russian, but uh, more important is the effective fiber. So that means we have to balance the physical effect NDF with the starch level. Uh, try to uh, increase the corn silage and decrease the dry hay because it's quite a shortage of the good quality uh, forage in China. So. How to manage the TRMA and the world sorry is we balance this uh, uh, physical NDF and the starch level uh, by the rebuild the formulation, and we have to make much attention on the TRMA particle. By the you know the uh, when you make the TRMA uh, 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 use the you know uh, the the how to say. Uh, 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 the mix wagon, uh, the uh, mix time, so make sure the a certain length of the TRMA uh, particle size. So uh, then we uh, build ration, uh, especially for the starch level, try to keep the even. That means we build ration, uh, uh, confirm the starch level according the uh, pen box the uh, diet. That means a certain level of the physical NDF. Also, will be related with the ADF level of the Russian. If you try to decrease the ADF, the dry matter intake will be increased. That means the cows will consume more starch. Uh, that means it will be more risk for the acidosis. So that means a certain of the situation, we have to uh, make sure the starch level will be at the right level, according the uh, particle of the TRMA and the ADF of the of the Russian. So, also, if, if uh, you know the for the high corn silage, uh, uh, no enough, you know the physical uh, fiber. So some farm will be choose use some uh, low quality, limited low quality. Uh, forage, such as you know, uh, wheat straw, uh, quite a low, limited number, maybe one kilo. Uh, try to you know increase the uh, physical fiber to keep the rumen function. So another, I think, uh, most important section is the health management through by the oxidation stress management. Oxidation stretch uh, is quite uh, related with the health of the cows. Uh, for the health of cows, so that means they are have uh, you know enough antioxidant. Uh, try to you know uh, keep a balance. Uh, you know the try to get off the radical of the inside. But for the uh, subclinical mastitis and the clinical mastitis, so the balance will be changed. So that means we have to make a balance of the between the uh, antioxidant and the radical of the inside of the body. So there are have many uh, factors uh, will be uh, have a negative impact for the oxidation stress. Uh, so 
the imbalance between the free radical and the antioxidant will be have a many uh, negative impact for the body, uh, such as you know will be have a initiate oxidized chain reaction and the lipid oxidation. That means you know will be destroy the uh, cell memory uh, in the different organs, no matter in the in the food or in the in the gut or in the you know in the other. So. Uh, will be changed in the uh, cellular memory, can modify the metabolic pathways with uh, to the physical or pathological knowledge. So the first one have a big impact, maybe mycotoxin contamination, uh, because most farms, you know, pay less attention on the, this side. Uh, so we know uh, the mycotoxin, especially. Uh, such as uh, example, you know, aflatoxin consu consume uh, more vitamin E and vitamin A and other, you know, uh, antioxidant. So, if quite a high level of the different, you know, mycotoxin in the Russian, that means have a big impact for the for the oxidation inside of an animal. So the mycotoxin will be. Uh, 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 you know, the have a uh, uh, negative impact for the cell memory. Uh, try to broken the the memory and uh, you know the uh, decrease the uh, the mechanism bear uh, of the different organs. So very important. You know, many uh, you know small farm and medium sized farm. You know, uh, uh, have a quite a poor you know consolidate management. Uh, even the package, uh, package and the harvest, even the cover, also for the you know surface management. So that means uh, and many uh, farms you know quite a serious situation on the you know corn silage management. Even also some uh, you know the forage uh, quality. So uh, uh, sure you know more and more farm you know pay much attention on the this part of the work. The second organization factor will be uh, histories. So histories will be, uh, you know, the switch. You know, most uh, you know blood supply to the gut uh, is reduced. You know, more uh, blood will be moved to the surface of the skin. Try to you know the uh, uh, to uh, reduce the heat of the body. So uh, this time, you know. Uh, uh, Reactive oxygen species increase and uh, damage the the leaning of the gut. So that's why we can see the quite a lower increase of the dramatic intake of the histories. So the key point I mentioned about uh, you know the mycotoxin and the histories means you know the there are many different kind of oxidation uh, stress factors. So can be accumulation. Can combination together, so it's especially for the uh, this year it's quite a high temperature in China, so uh, many farms suffer you know history problem, so that means we have to match attention on the mycotoxin management, also same time we have to pay much attention on the thorough measurements also. So endotoxin into the blood, and cause the segregation of a harmful uh, cytokines. Also, multiple or, or organ failures. So uh, this year, uh, more, more, uh, many farms, you know, have a quite a serious problem uh, because you know quite a serious uh, history of management. The third one is uh, the the sara, the rumen function. So they are, uh, have a, a, a traps. So uh, they try to use the uh, LPS, uh, the endotoxin, try to challenge the house of cows. So maybe after one week or uh, two weeks, we can see the quite a high level of the LPS in rumen. But we didn't find quite a high level LPS in the in the blood. That's because you know, the each of the organism stress need quite a longer time to destroy the bear of the system. So that means why so many uh, farms uh, quite a, you know ignore the different kind of. Uh, oxidation stress uh, factors. 
also the when when the uh, you know the the body or the organ destroyed they have to quite a longer time to recovery uh, try to recovery the bear of the you know memory gland uh, or you know the the for the food problem so uh, oxidative stress in the animal is quite important uh, the key point I, I want to uh, uh, mention about is the so many complicated oxidative stress suffer on the farms. We have to pay much attention on the you know uh, the different kind of uh, heat stress matter uh, will be accu accumulation and a com uh, combination together. So there are lots of new uh, challenges uh, for the Chinese dairy farming, uh, especially for the quite a tough situation. Uh, right now, but uh, you know, in the past the ten or fifteen years, they have a big uh, uh, make a, you know great uh, progress for the for the China dairy industry, especially uh, written the cycle to five uh, five years. Uh, this uh, small backyard uh, animal uh, raising is uh, quit already, so more and more farms uh, have a better management. So uh, try to uh, limit the milk production. But right now, have a good price, uh, so farms try to increase in uh, milk production, try to improve the milk quality, and uh, try to reduce feed cost, so we can survive under this tough situation. So that's all. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you.